Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, September 13th, and uh, we're out here thinking about what are we going to do today. And again, we're talking to the HVAC, plumbing, uh, electrician, service techs, but again, mainly the HVAC guys. This is getting into our off season. We need to commit to 10 minutes every day, back to the basics, and do what we do to make ourselves better employees, better service techs, better people, better family, you know, provide for our family. Christmas will be coming and you'll be thinking, I need some extra money. Today is the day that you start earning all the extra money that you're going to need this winter. So we went through our greeting and just summary. Last week, we talked about our greeting. We got our time commitment. We're starting to do our inspection. As we do our inspection, please take me to your outdoor system. Please take me to your indoor system. Get the customer to go around, take a panel off, glance at the model and serial number, even take a picture of it real quick so that you can zoom in, study it, learn how to read, sizing, sear rating, as well as when it was manufactured. Typically, hidden in the serial number will be the manufacturer's date. Some manufacturers make it easy and put a manufacturer like Ream, they like, they'll put the true manufacturer's date on the the, ta- the the data plate, but most hide it in that serial number. If you don't know how to figure that out, excuse me, if you don't know how to figure that out, go to buildingcenter.org, buildingcenter.org, and go under AC equipment, go to the manufacturer's name, and then it'll show you how to read every data plate. Buildingcenter.org will show you and teach you how to read every data plate. Um, carriers, the Goodmans, the Trains, the every brand that that's out there that you even there's some that I've never heard of that are still on that list. They'll teach you how to read, and a very very good resource for you to have. Buildingcenter.org. So once we know that age of the equipment, we want to divide our equipment. We want to divide our thought process into three groups. If it's zero to three years old. And our company put it in. Which a lot of times when you're on a less than three-year-old system, you probably, your company probably put it in. If you work for a bigger company, you probably put it in. And we want to make sure that we don't say anything or do or present anything that should have been included. Duck seal, um, um, surge protectors, new disconnects. So we want to just go back and and look at the original proposal, make sure that they got everything that they paid for. We're not really here to try to sell them the same thing twice or take advantage of them in that way. What we're trying to do is zero to three, let's make sure that we delivered what we promised in the beginning. Sometimes, you know, again, it could have been a 105 degree day in the summer in that attic and 145, 150 degrees inside that attic, and the, the installers just couldn't stay there the time it'd take to, to, to do everything just absolutely perfect. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt, and let's just make it right for the customer. So zero to three, we're looking to make sure that our company to put it in. Was there anything that we could do just a little better? Level it, straighten the disconnect. Did it get a surge protector? Are they installed? Did it um, did it get duct sealed? Did it get any sort of modifications? Did it does it get filters with it? All of that stuff should be in your history. And again, the history on uh, most of these systems are getting to be right there on your iPad, electronic. But if not, call up your office. Just let's just make sure we do we're doing the right thing for the customer. There'll be still things to present, but we want to just while we're there, it's like an install checkup as well. Let's make sure that we gave the customer everything we promised. That's just, if if we deliver and check to make sure we deliver everything we promised, they're going to feel comfortable. They're going to trust us. And we can let them know we double checked everything and your system looks good. Makes them feel good. Remember, we're going to talk about three good things. Um, If you've been through some of our training, we're going to talk about the good stuff first. Well, this will be the this will give us some ammunition and talk about the good stuff. So zero to three, let's deliver what we promised if we were the company that put it in. And if not, it's okay. Let's make sure that the customer knows everything that 
we would have delivered with ours that that maybe they didn't get and let's let's make sure they they get it if that's what they need from three to eight years old that's our sweet spot for service tickets and maintenance tickets and upgrades three to eight uh, we want to talk we want to make sure that we get the easy start added you know after about three years of break in it's time to add an easy start to allow the compressor to start easier brings the amp draws down makes the systems the compressors last longer makes them less noisy makes a major difference to them you can even do the uh, synthetic oil additives at about three to five years then your discretion but at three years it's time to start looking to see is that something that we want to put on the mandatory or is that something we want to put in the near future it's okay it may be just a near future three years to you know three to eight sometimes in there we're going to need to pull and clean the blower wheel so is the blower how's the blower looking uh, is there any buildup on the on the bottom side of the coil has the filter had any bypass or is the filter working for us uh, so a thorough inspection will will bring all of these items to light. You'll know what goes on your list. And the thought about it is you don't put things on your list that you know they'll buy or you, they have to have. You put things on their list that if it were free, what would this house benefit from? What would this customer benefit from? What would this situation been improved by? If it were free if it's not free that's the customer's decision to decide to whether they want to give up their money or go on a payment plan or any of that of those choices but if it were free and this was your grandmother's house right and you knew that you couldn't come back for another year to look at this for your grandmother what all would you want what what all would you do for your grandmother to make sure it's right okay pick your grandmother because a lot of our grandmothers took great care of us as kids we have great fond memories but think of again some family member your mom your, your dad your, your grandmother your grandfather something like that who would you go out of your way to take care of well give that same level of service to every client that you go to but just do it in the sense that you write it on the piece of paper and then you ask their permission to do which ones they want you to do okay but if it were free we write it on the piece of paper and we're not worried about necessarily selling it to people. We're trying to, we're just going to explain it. We're going to explain it in a way that they understand and they come to their own conclusion whether they want it or not. And then if they do, they'll ask us what's it cost or they'll ask us um, the rest of the information that we will need to, to finish it up. So we've, we've uh, in here about uh, eight minutes now. I'm trying to keep these to 10 minutes every day. So zero to three, let's make sure we delivered what we promised last time if we installed it. Three to eight, everything that this house could benefit from, that the client could benefit from, this home could benefit from if it were free. And again, if it were everything that you do were free, think about how, how much stuff we have on our trucks or in our warehouses or at our supply houses that we could do for people. I mean, you're talking about the list can just go on and on and on right it's a very very long list even tankless water heaters and water filtration systems and certainly in that three to eight category that's where you will talk about the breathe easy stage one is your filter stage two is an ionizer that keeps the blower wheel um, clean stage three is a coal light is a uv sterilizer that that sterilizes the coil where the majority of the bacteria likes to grow. Stage four is a bacteria and virus eliminator, goes up in the supply trunk and ionizes the air and sends off hydrogen peroxide into the duct system to kill any sort of bacteria that has been blown down the ductwork. And it even blows it into the home to sterilize surfaces in the home with the with a gaseous version of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, that's the, the the product that we like, whether you like air scrubbers or Remy Halos or uh, APCO airs, it doesn't matter. They all t will do a great job. And again, we're not trying to say which one is the best. What we're really trying to say is the customer has nothing. Anything they do 
in terms of air purification. It's going to be better than doing nothing. We can debate over which product is the best. You've got your preference. I might have my preference. It's okay because we're competing with nothing in their homes, right? Most customers have nothing to purify their air. Anything will do a great job compared to doing nothing. So um, three to eight, that's when you're going to see a lot of Breathe Easy packages on there. If you're not familiar with, with that and all the stages, go look at breatheeasyair.com. Breatheeasyair.com is a great just resource website. No pricing on there, no, no selling on there, just a resource for the customer, for you to learn about the stages, learn about how you could be presenting the uh, what's happening in each stage. Which product you're using each stage is up to you, but you're just learning the stages and what they should do, filtering the air, ionizing the air, sterilizing the coil, killing the bacteria and the viruses. All of those are the stages, and hum dehumidifying the air is the next stage. So zero to three, let's make it right. Three to eight, let's make a list of everything this house could use if it were free. And tomorrow we'll talk about the over eight years old, how we're going to add to upgrade the equipment or to give them that choice, right? We're not, we're not necessarily saying that everybody buys new equipment just because it's eight years old. They probably won't. But at eight years old, it's time to start looking at the efficiency, the performance, the comfort, and when is the time to jump to that next level. So great to be on here. Thanks for being with us. Um, I see we got at least a few that joined us. Thank you very much. You can watch this um, on replay. If you do, just put replay down in the comments for me. Like, share it. Um, and again, we're if you, if you want some more information, uh, some personal training, just message me and we can get together and, and talk some more for any sort of training that you need. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.